Hey there everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to hard code your .srt or subtitle files to your AVI movie file itself. Now this comes in handy if you're finding that you cannot access or turn on your subtitles that came with your downloaded movie file, um, whether you have burned it to a DVD or trying to access it through your external hard drive, this process actually fixes that problem. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a DVD burning or encoding program. I use Toast Titanium 11 by Roxio um, Encore, which is a part of the Adobe Master Collection of CS5, CS6, um, works as well. Or there are free programs out there that you can find. You just need one of them. Today, like I said, though, we'll be using Toast Titanium 11. Once your DVD program is open, you're going to want to go to your downloads file and find that video file itself. Now, for this process, it, this is very important. Step one, you're going to want to make sure that your AVI file and your SRT file are in, a, in the same folder together. Um, another important thing here, step two, is you're going to want to make sure that the AVI and the SRT file are the exact same name. Now, whether you copy and paste like I did, um, or you rename it, you, like I said, you're going to want to make sure that they are the same exact name. Now, once that's done, they're in the same folder, they're the same name, take your AVI and drop it into your DVD burning program. Leave the SRT file uh, behind. Um, that will just cause an error message, and that's actually what the uh, parian is for. So once we have our video file here, you can minimize all your windows. Go into your system preferences and run parian. Now, I will have a link in the description to uh, the download site for this. Once you have downloaded it, go into your system, click it, open it up, make sure that it looks the same. Your uh, load external subtitles has been selected. Go ahead and minimize that. And now all we have to do is click burn. Um, one quick thing, if you would like to make sure that uh, it is, in fact, working and the subtitles are, will be showing, you can actually go into the file again uh, and go ahead and play that um, movie file and if it, this process worked, which it should, the subtitles should show up on the video itself. So let's go ahead and find something here with some speech. And it looks like the subtitles have worked. So once we know it's working, we can actually go here and click burn now, and that's it. Now some of these programs, uh, just a little more information here, a little extra. Some of these programs will have menu items. You know, you can go through and click a cool menu, choose a menu if that's what you want. Uh, there's also a no menu option and an autoplay option. Um, otherwise, you can go ahead and stick that DVD in. Like I said, click burn, and that's it. Um, I hope that was helpful to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to click the like, click subscribe so you know when I'm posting more videos on some Mac tip tricks and know-how. Also, I'll be posting some uh, Xbox 360 tips, tricks, and know-how along with some GTA 5 and other games. Um, also, if you have any requests for either, let me know. Email me through my YouTube channel or I will be creating a Twitter account. Check me out there on uh, Mr. Tubes. Um, other than that, happy burning, everyone.